Oh yeah. Uh, 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 feels good. Feels good. Hey, yo, what's up, people? It's your girl, Songbird. Howdy ho, how do you do? Ooh, ooh, chica. Yeah. It's Dante Black. Why are you looking like that? What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Boom, chica, <laughs> chica. Some shit blow up, man. I can not tell you, I heard some. That? Nah, it was like some shit. <sighs> maybe that was you breathing. Nah. Or maybe that was air escaping from your butt. Nah. How <laughs> far did you know it? You wouldn't be this close. Ew. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition. This is your, that was so gross. If this is your first time tuning in, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell one time so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites pops up. And for our returning opposite fam, what they do. Yeah, stay the career tree on fire, what they do. All right, so let's get into today's topic. I saw my friend's significant other cheating. Do I tell them? And what should I tell them? I feel like if it's a real friend and you know they can handle it, if you see their significant other cheating, yeah, tell them. Get you some pictures. Have, have your shit together. If you feel like you're, that's your real friend and they can handle it, and they're not going to be like, oh my gosh, you just broke up my whole world, like, and just going to be overly dramatic. If they're going to be overly dramatic, don't tell them. Because nine times out of ten, they probably already know. And they probably cheating on them too. All right. <clears throat> so if you feel like your friend can handle it, then you should kind of sit them down and be like, look, I got to tell you something and you're probably not going to like it, but I couldn't call myself my real friend if I wasn't telling you that your significant other was cheating on you. Get that book out? It's stuck up there? You need help getting it out? Uh-uh. Not even. I feel like my hand will get stuck. All right. So, and how do you tell them? You just have to, you don't have to be an ass about it. I'll say that. I feel like if he was telling something like that, he would be a complete ass about it. But you can sit them down and, and like I said, just sit them down in a calm way. Don't, you know, make it overly dramatic. And it's better if you make it overly dramatic. Why, Ashy Lips? Because I'm going to tell you. No, I'm gonna let you go and finish. I tell them. I tell y'all how I, I tell you. But yeah, don't be overly dramatic because that's that's going to cause more, many, a lot more problems. You gotta come at this in an adult manner. You would come. You should come at it a way you would want a person to come at you if they were telling you some bad news like that. Somebody was telling you some bad news. You wouldn't want them to be all over the top. Girl, I saw your man with somebody else. What you gonna do? You wanna go slash his tires? You wanna go do all this? You wanna go do all that? Keep your ratchetness in your back pocket at the appropriate time to bring it out. Which is probably never an appropriate time to bring out your ratchetness. Yes, it is. Spoken like a true Miami Negro. Yeah, yeah. Trail five. They do. But yeah. You just got to go about it in a calm manner. And make sure you come at your friend in a loving, a loving way. And let them know that. This ain't the first relationship they done been in and probably, and it doesn't have to be the last. There's always somebody out there that actually will treat you right. It may not be this cheating nigga here, but there's somebody out there. Somebody out Let me get close up on Let me get close up on these people. I'm gonna even back up on that. Go back you up finna on be that. some, you finna be some ridiculousness. I right. feel it in my spirit. All right, folks. If you've been watching for a while, you already know my views are a little bit different. So, if you're going to tell somebody that their significant other is cheating on them, have proof other than I saw. Because there's been times that she and I have been out doing things for polar opposites. And people say, hey, I saw y'all together. Hey, I saw y'all do this. I saw y'all do that. So the outside person that don't know that we are business partners could assume Ew. 
just listening, could assume that we're on a date. And so if she dates someone, he'd be like, hey, I saw a songbird with this guy and they was out doing, they were shopping and they were holding hands and all this other stuff, which, mm -hmm. listen, listen to what I'm saying, which could not even be true. We ain't holding hands, but we could have been out shopping. Remember when we went to look for shirts and all that other kind of stuff to get the logos put on there? Yeah. Whatever, bro. Okay. <laughs> We could have been out doing something like that. But they going to come with their own version of the story. Man, they were booed up. They was all in the mall and they was shopping. They had bags galore and all of this unnecessary stuff. All this, And then that gets told back to the person and be like, where was that? And a lot of people, like she said, they probably already have a feeling that the person is cheating. And so just to hear that piece of information, that's all they need. If you don't tell somebody that this person is cheating, you need to A, have proof. And you have, and it has to be the kind of proof that is no question if he grabbing her ass. There's no question. There's no friend. That's they, they, they're a little bit more than friends if they grabbing ass. They kissing. You know, more than just sitting down holding a meal with somebody. That could be a long time friend. That could be a homegirl. Hell, that could be a sister. That could be a cousin. That could be an auntie. You don't know who that is. And if it's, you know, same thing, like, guys, you know, if one of my partners, I see that lady out with another dude, I'm going to be like, who is, who is this dude? I'm going to sit back and watch. Whatever I got to go to, going to wait. I need to make sure my boy's straight. And then if I see them get a little bit too close, I'm going I'm to intervene. I'm like, Lamar, what's going on right here? Oh, no, 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 I didn't I'm like, nah, fam, you got to move. You got to move, bro. You, you got to go. I don't care. I don't care what y'all got going on. You got to go. Your mama, you going you gonna call my boy right now. You gonna call him right now and let him know. Like that's that's how it works. Ain't no go back and report later. Like now nah, we finna handle this right now. Where I'm from, we finna handle it right now. We finna get this shit out and open. Cause you ain't finna do my boy in no kind of way. Ain't no take pictures and come back later. Cause at the end of the day, it's gonna be your work, your word against pillow talk. And as a friend, you can never, ever, ever, ever compete with Pillow Talk. Ever. Because I can call you and tell you, hey, your dude is out here with this other female. I seen her. I seen him doing this. You confront him. He say, nah, man, it ain't what you think. Is this, that, another thing. Girl, I never do that to you. And blah, 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 blah. Now you put it in a uh, position to who you going to believe. I'm going to believe my friend or I'm going to believe this person that I'm in love with. And then you're going to be like, you know what? I'm going to just, you know, since I don't have proof, you know, I'm just going to rock with my dude. And so now your friendship with that other person is going to be in jeopardy because they're going to be like, I told you, but you didn't want to believe me. You want to believe this person. Have proof. Have concrete proof. Undisputable proof. And if you can't get that and you don't have it, don't open your mouth. Even if you saw it. But you don't have proof, I say don't open your mouth because that's going to open up another can of worms. Because who knows? Maybe that person that you're telling, they feel like you're jealous of their relationship anyway and they won't listen. But if you have proof, now here's the thing now, if you have undisputed proof, undisputed proof and you show it to the person and they still choose not to believe, step out of it. Don't never say nothing else. Together. Don't say nothing else ever again. If you see it happen, don't ever say nothing else again. Because when I brought it to your attention, you didn't want to hear it. It ain't my business. It, my, it's not my job to protect your heart. It's your job to protect your heart. If you choosing to not protect it, I say no more. All right. So what's you guys' take on this? Would you tell your friend if you saw? Would you tell your friend if you saw your friend's significant other cheating on them? Would you want to get proof or would you just run back and immediately just tell what you saw? Leave us a comment down below on what you think and what you would do. And always, if you have topics or comments that we should talk about or questions we should talk about, let us know. Send them to our Instagrams, our Facebooks, the business pages, and the our personal pages. And I guess we'll see you guys. Can I say one more thing? If you've already sent us um, topics, we, we are working to get to ours. We so. truly appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, we thank that. you. And we, we work, like, we have tons of topics. And we try to get them in. And then there's some 
some topics take precedent over others because of, you know the time frame you know it's a current event so of course we want to try to get that put out so in no way shape or form are we pushing us off there we probably already did it we just haven't gotten to it as of yet because we when we record we record we record continues like all day it's yeah. One of the videos she actually fell asleep on in the video. That's how much I did not fall asleep. You fell asleep for like three seconds. I did not fall asleep. Okay. Alright. You was just drowsy. Alright guys. I'm Songbird. It's not too black. And chill till the next episode.